Which 70s TV character had the catchphrase, Who loves your baby? Was it Mike Brady, Kojak or Fonzie? Now these questions are going to start easy, but stick around for some more difficult ones towards the end. The answer here is Kojak. Which of these was a 70s roller disco hit? Disco Inferno, Beat It or I Feel For You? And who had a pair of those roller skates? Let me know in the comments down below. The correct answer here, Disco Inferno by The Tramps. What is this technology first introduced in 1971? Is it a disk drive, floppy disk or hard disk? And they are floppy disks. Which daredevil was this 70s toy based on? Eddie Kidd, Evil Knievel or Bud Etkins? And this was one of my favourite toys of my childhood. The answer is Evil Knievel. Good night, Jim Bob. Name the 70s TV show this line is from. The Brady Bunch, Little House on the Prairie or The Waltons? And it's from The Waltons. First produced in the 60s but still popular in the 70s, what were these known as? Banana seat, drop seat or back seat bikes? And there's a bonus point for anybody who remembers what they were called in the UK. The answer here, banana seat. Which of these is not a name of a 70s hairstyle? Page boy, shag or bump? And the correct answer, bump. Who released the song ABC in 1970? Was it the Jackson 5, Boney M or Chicago? And this one should be as easy as 1, 2, 3. The answer is the Jackson 5. Name the video format that competed with VHS in the late 70s and early 80s. Was it Alpha Max, Beta Max or Delta Max? And if you're enjoying the quiz so far, give me a big 70s thumbs up. The correct answer is Beta Max. In 1977 movie Smokey and the Bandit, who or what is Smokey? Is it a truck, sheriff or car? And it was the sheriff. Who is this feathered hair, 70s angel? Is it Jacqueline Smith, Farrah Fawcett or Cheryl Ladd? And who was your favourite angel? Mine was Cheryl Ladd. The correct answer here is Farrah Fawcett. Where was Muhammad Ali's rumble in the jungle in 1974? Was it in Zaire, Nigeria or Kenya? And the correct answer is Zaire. Which of these was not a 1970s arcade game? Pong, Space Invaders or Donkey Kong? And the one that didn't come around until the 80s is Donkey Kong. What was the name of the electronic memory skill game that came out in 1978? Was it Paul, Simon or John? was Simon. Which 1977 Queen song starts with the word buddy? We Will Rock You, Bohemian Rhapsody or We Are The Champions? And it is We Will Rock You. Which is the actual correct line from the failed Apollo 13 mission? Houston we have a problem, Houston you have a problem or Houston we've had a problem. And the actual line is Houston, we've had a problem. Which swimmer won seven gold medals at the 1972 Munich Games? Mark Spitz, Ian Thorpe or Johnny Weismuller? And it was Mark Spitz. In the film Greece, Sandy and her family had moved to America from where? England, Australia or Canada? And she was from Australia. What kind of creature is Chewbacca from Star Wars? Is he an Ewok, Wookiee or Jawa? And he is a Wookiee. In 1976, Nadia Comaneci became the first Olympian to be awarded what? 12 gold medals, the Olympic torch or a perfect 10 score. 
and she was the first gymnast to achieve a perfect 10. Can you name the first US space station launched in 1973 by NASA? Was it Space Pro 1, Skylab or Gemini? And it was Skylab. Who was the bear in the life and times of Grizzly Adams? Is it Yogi, Ben or Bart? And it was Ben. Finish this famous ad. I'd like to buy the world or what? Pepsi, Coke or 7up? And the answer is Coke. What were these 70s high-heeled shoes called? Platforms, Go-Go's or Clogs? And the correct answer? Platforms. Which of these was not a 70s fashion style? Double denim, bell bottoms or grunge? And what was your worst fashion of the 70s? Let us know in the comments. The answer here, grunge. Which 70s TV character made tiny denim shorts popular? Daisy Duke, Carol Brady or Margaret Houlihan? And it was of course, Daisy Duke from the Dukes of Hazard. Which football legend played his last game in 1977? Pele, Ronaldo or Maradona? And it was Pele. Who sang a song about a rat called Ben in 1972? Elton John, Michael Jackson or David Bowie? And it was Michael Jackson. Which of these was invented in the 1970s? Push through tab, super glue or compact discs? And the answer is the push through tab. Hugely popular in the 70s, what are these called? Are they space, pogo or ball hoppers? And they may have had a different name where you're from, but in the UK, they're space hoppers. Introduced in 1979, what was Apple's first product called? Was it the i1, Apple One or Was One? And it was the Apple One. What number was Bo Derek in the 1979 film with Dudley Moore? Was she 300, 007 or 10? And she was 10. What was celebrated for Queen Elizabeth II in 1977? The Silver, Golden or Diamond Jubilee? And I remember this because I got a free mug at school. The answer is the Silver Jubilee. Which Beatles sued to dissolve the band in 1970? John, Ringo or Paul? And it was Paul. Which is not a title of one of Bruce Lee's 1970s films? Enter the Dragon, Fury of the Dragon or The Way of the Dragon? And the one I made up is Fury of the Dragon. In 1970, Elvis Presley wrote to President Nixon asking to be what? Vice President, a federal agent, or officially titled a king? Now this one is pure trivia, but I thought it was an interesting story. He wanted to be a federal agent. With which song did ABBA win the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest? Waterloo, Dancing Queen, or Mamma Mia? And they won with Waterloo. Name the 70s art toy that you put in the oven to complete. Shrinky Dinks, Shrinky Winks, or Shrinky Blinks. And it is Shrinky Dinks. Name the New York City nightclub famous for its wild celebrity parties in the 70s. Is it Moulin Rouge, Studio 54 or Boogie Wonderland? And it is Studio 54. Which of these alien filmed themes is not from the 70s? Close Encounters of the Third Kind, E.T. or Alien? 
And the one that wasn't released until the 80s is E.T. So how much fun was that? How many did you remember? Drop your favourite memories of the 70s in the comments down below and now try either another 70s quiz or an 80s quiz. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.